Heated arguments broke out in Pelahatchee tonight as board members, the mayor, and the public met in a town meeting to discuss new plans to fix their budget and payroll. Alex Love was there. He joins us now in studio with the latest. Alex. Tensions are still high between the board and Mayor Raishonda Beecham, at some points even spilling out into the crowd, forcing police and deputies to step in for order as talks from budgets, a new city clerk, and visits from the Department of Labor dragged on. Going through two full pay periods with no checks signed out to Pelahatchee's more than two dozen employees, disagreements are still boiling over whose responsibility it is. To have somebody sitting with her when she do this so we can guarantee somewhat that your numbers will be correct. She's not too bad. She don't want to sign the check. And it's for that too. One big step to try and solve the matter was the board voting yes on Tuesday night to hire Angela Gardner, who was recommended by the mayor as the new town city clerk to assist in the books and sign checks when needed. It needs to be put in place. In any event that I'm not here and the mayor pro tem is here, somebody else has to sign off on the check for accountability. Most of the time, since the clerks are running the check, it should be the auditors. Another vote that raised some eyebrows was the board's decision to pass their 2019-2020 budget plan, which had many financial similarities to previous years. We don't really know what's been paid, what hadn't been paid, uh, how much money we got in each of the accounts. We got a, a lot of different accounts, so we need to know what we have, what we don't have before we you know, send out any more checks or anything to pay bills. That issue goes back to a state audit done in 2017, where auditors found the city moving over half a million dollars out of their drug fund to pay for salaries and utilities outside the police department, forcing the town to stretch thin. We're trying our best to... to you know, get things squared away as best we can, but it's been a, it's been a hectic couple of weeks, that's for sure. Another proposal considered was back pay to Mayor Beecham from March of 2018 to last July, totaling nearly $57,000, but that was tabled until further notice. The Department of Labor also spoke at tonight's meeting, assuring the city they are working closely with the paycheck issues while city employees were paid last week. A source inside the government told us they cannot guarantee the checks for the next pay period will go through.